Some people are using diarrhea meds to get high, and the FDA is concerned. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration is concerned over a number of people turning to anti-diarrhea medication to get high. Using significant amounts of Imodium AD to satisfy their opioid addiction. It's not surprising at all, though. For starters, the said medicine can be acquired over the counter and is inexpensive. It is also readily available and completely legal. On January 30, the FDA requested manufacturers to produce packages with low quantities of the drug for short term use in an attempt to curb the problem. Loperamide. Loperamide, the generic name of the medicine, is considered safe at 8 mg a day or 4 tablets. There's a 16 mg cap for prescription strength doses, too. But these are generally low levels and can't enter the blood or brain. Some individuals, however, are consuming between 50 to 400 pills each day to feel high. Said William Eggleston, pharmacist and clinical assistant professor at Binghamton University. He's also Upstate New York Poison Center's clinical toxicologist. Ingesting that many pills each day is practically impossible, but people have been creative. Eggleston explained that, for example, one patient crushed hundreds of anti-diarrhea pills and mixed them in with this smoothie. But why? Well, Eggleston said loperamide can act as an opioid, but when taken in low levels, it does not incur the same effects anywhere, except in the intestinal region of the body. When someone takes somewhere up to 50 pills a day and above, they'll feel akin to having injected heroin or even morphine. You can get that same high sensation, that euphoria, said Eggleston. The sensation of being high, however, isn't as potent as one would encounter by injecting more severe drugs. It doesn't provide the same level of head rush that heroin does, he said. Abusing loperamide to avoid withdrawal. Some abusers are taking significant amounts of loperamide not to satisfy their addiction, but to actually prevent it. Some patients abuse the drug to function without the use of morphine, fentanyl, or heroin. But given a high enough dosage, some patients report feeling an opiate-like experience. The issue of opioid misuse and abuse remains one of my highest priorities and we believe it's going to take carefully developed, sustained and coordinated action by everyone involved to reduce the tide of opioid addiction and death afflicting our communities, while maintaining appropriate prescribing for patients in medical need, said FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb. As a preliminary preventive measure, the FDA is changing how loperamide is packaged. As mentioned, it's asked manufacturers to limit the amount of loperamide in retail packaging. For example, a blister packaging that contains 8 2 mg capsules. It also plans to reach out to online distributors and ask them voluntary steps to mitigate the issue. It wants to eventually stop bulk sales of the medicine which is one of the ways that could lead to individuals abusing it. Currently, loperamide can be purchased on Amazon for $10.99, which contains 400 pills. The FDA's solution can't persist in the long term, according to Eggleston. Making loperamide a behind-the-counter drug might work, but that's a huge step to take and will likely only happen when the abuse grows more abysmal. People using a modium AD diarrhea drug to get high. Green Bay, Wisconsin, WBAY, this story is one we can hardly even believe is happening. But doctors and even the FDA are issuing warnings in the last week. 
urging people not to try getting high by taking too much loperamide, known as Imodium AD. Yes, we're talking about the antidiarrheal medication. A study published in the Annals of Emergency Medicine warns people taking incredibly high doses of the medication that it has lethal consequences. Like many of us, Baycare Clinic emergency medicine physician Dan Gale is a bit dumbfounded over the latest attempts to get a high. There's no smart drug to abuse as a kid. This one's a really stupid one, says Dr. Gale. The study reports two people died overdosing on loperamide. Dr. Gale says most people abusing it are addicts, using it to treat severe withdrawal symptoms. But the issue is the amount they're taking, up to 200 times the recommended dose. In small amounts, like the recommended dose, drive. Gale says the body doesn't really absorb the drug. But in large amounts, he says the body will absorb it and that affects other organs. The biggest safety issue is what happens to the heart. It disrupts our electrical pathways in our heart. When it happens, it's like flipping a switch. It's not like you feel a little bit worse and a little bit worse and then you die. You just collapse, he explains. While people may be buying large amounts of Imodium online, Tuesday, the FDA announced it is working with manufacturers to limit the number of doses in a package. Researchers say calls to poison control centers regarding these overdoses rose 71% in three years. But this warning indicates only a small number of people may be trying this to actually get a Hi. It's pretty mild, says Gail of a high some people might get. It's nothing like actual heroin or high-dose IV narcotics that people abuse. But in those cases, it affects more than the heart. That would probably cause some pretty significant constipation until it wore off. And it would take a while with those doses, like days to weeks, he explains. The FDA is not pulling this drug, and Dr. Gale emphasizes the medication is not a narcotic and is safe for people taking the recommended dose. He commends addicts trying to stop drug use, but urges them to talk to their doctors for safer methods. Opiate addicts are abusing Imodium and other anti-diarrhea medications. It's reported that every day, 142 Americans die from a drug overdose. In Georgia, opiat officials are warning that some addicts are abusing Imodium and other anti-diarrhea medications. This week, the FDA called on manufacturers to sell loperamide in single-dose blister packaging in an effort to support the safe use of the drug. The FDA said the active ingredient in Imodium and similar anti-diarrhea drugs acts on opioid receptors in the gut that can cause a euphoric effect in large doses, but that comes with severe health risks. The agency said it continues to receive reports of serious heart problems and deaths with much higher than recommended doses. Some doctors are reporting that patients are taking hundreds of pills at a time to manage withdrawal symptoms from opioid medications like hydrocodone or oxycontin, or to get high. In Georgia from June of 2016 to May of 2017, the total number of opioid doses prescribed to Georgia patients surpassed 541 million. Georgia is also among the top 11 states with the most opioid overdose deaths. And 55 Georgia counties have an overdose rate higher than the national average.